super cute. Hi. Super cute. So we are on our way to, I don't know. Uh, Barnes and Noble. No. Come on. to go back home but we are being healthy people through Prospect Park. Favorite thing to do in the mornings. Walk through the park. Um, what can we talk about? Oh, I'm listening to the radio. <laughs> so I'm a little distracted from the radio, but the way people look at you when you have a camera in your face talking. Whew. Anyhow. Never took this route. It's just the dog route. I gotta pee. So I gotta go use the little park bathroom. It's the 29th of April. Shout out to everybody in Baltimore. Oh, shout out to the people that don't know if they got a job no more. Because the rioters looted their place of work. Um Shout out to the mama that was beating his, beating her son. Um, rest in peace to Freddie Gray. I can't even, ugh, it's so frustrating that story. Such a sad story because the cops don't even give a fuck. That's what's really pissing me off that the cops that did it don't even you know, <laughs> they like, so, <laughs> what's really good, that's, that's the procedure, what's the problem, so, it's a sad, sad world, poor Baltimore, I agree and disagree with the writers, <laughs> you know, so, I don't think y'all should, like, destroy the place. If y'all want to break the door down and go steal some shit, all right. There's thieves in the world. Be a thief. Hey. But why y'all got to destroy the goddamn store? And when 
or are you gonna actually run up into a police station because that's what, who we got beef with see the problem with like black protesters and black you know trying to get the word out about something and change something that's that there's no one to go to there's no more Martin Luther Kings and Malcolm X's in the world that you can go to you know and be like look this is what we need to do yeah we could vote and you, you must vote and do all that stuff and be into your community and into your schools and all that stuff but there's still no there's no person you know and I wish that after Martin Luther King and Malcolm X that something someone emerged that could merge those two those two men um, philosophies together because we need peaceful organization but we also need guns and riot gear and we do we need that aggressive nature because sometimes that's what gets shit done you know not just walking outside turning the other cheek and shit there's not everyone is not like that so there's a need for the merge you know and there's no one there's no place to go the celebrities don't give a fuck i mean the real celebrities that really can make a difference they don't give a fuck they organizing motherfucking networks to make more money off their music and shit that's what they give a fuck about you got that ugly little nigga young thug talking about he don't think celebrities should be activists that's bullshit as long as you have a name and it's so big that you can move the people. See how Beyonce says, I stopped the world. Yeah, you can stop the world. You can also change the world. And yeah, they got their family, they got their stuff, but they're the people that could stop the world. She said it herself, she did it herself. <sighs> so, it's still frustrating. And yeah, someone's gonna comment, she does so much, she does, she does, she does. Yeah, okay. Good for her, shout out to her. It's not enough. <laughs> Anyhow, my hand hurts <laughs> because I've been working out. Oh God. Ooh, damn. It's so nice, it's gonna be like 76 degrees. I'm gonna shoot another little look today. I shot one yesterday. <sighs> so, I just wanted to walk through the park before I head home because I love it.